This is Jamon Kellison, and this is Less Rap. So, last time on Less Rap, we ended on a topic about Kendrick Lamar being hip hop and everything right now. So, my question for my two guests, Sherm and Fred, is do y'all think Kendrick Lamar's new album, To Pimp a Butterfly, was a classic or not? I can't call it the classic yet. I have to sit with it and listen for for at least a whole year to at least call it a classic. I wouldn't call it a classic just because, um, honestly, I feel like it's it's such a a timely piece where it's for right now, really. And then I feel like later it could be considered a classic just because people probably couldn't relate. Like that, just because of the actual time period. But I think for us, it could be. We, I think we just have to sit with it more. But for right now, I don't feel like the future would consider it a classic. You know what? Today, I'm going to be the bad guy, and you know, I, I, everybody liking Kendrick Lamar album. You know, I, I like it too. But I'm going to speak for the role of everybody else that don't like it. It was too slow. I didn't have no songs that really, really jammed to him. I called to ride around and, and you know, have my windows blasting, no good beats or nothing like that. I, I wanted the good kid, Mad City Kendrick or the Kendrick Lamar from my office mixtapes. Like, I feel right now, I feel like he kind of, he kind of blacked out on us. I feel like he ended up, he, Erica Badu must have sent him to his, like, invited him over for some tea and he converted him over to be... A whole nother rapper now and even more poetic and I felt like I was in a jazz club. I didn't really appreciate that. I wanted to hit, I wanted some you know, I wanted a good kid Mad City all over again. I mean I feel like he was just in a different place, like I mean, he he might he might not be in the same place as he was in Good Kid Mad City. That's a whole different topic. Um as far as the poetic, he's always been a bit poetic, you know what I'm saying? He's always been that just being lyrical, he's been he he's poetic. Um, are we responded to? Are we responded to the uh to the critics of the album? Like, how am I answering this part? Well, this part I'm saying like, the, so you can actually listen to the difference of this album right now. Yeah, but I'm talking about the people that just that thought Kendrick Lamar was oh, it, like this dude is hip hop. He's Amazing, he's this, that, this, that, and the other. But it's like now, it's like we kind of, we kind of think that he he kind of went too far, or he tried to change a little bit too much right now. I I, I see what you're saying. All right, I had I had to just gather. Um, personally, I, I see. I know I know what they're talking about. Those people who feel like he went astray from hip hop, but I feel like the message that he he sent through the album was, was needed. In hip hop and in life in general for for the community, so I feel like I feel like I feel like jazz is a is a big part of hip hop. So I feel like he wasn't the only one to just have jazz chords. Also, jazz music in general, jazz was basically something that kind of helped hip hop get started. Slash, jazz was also a genre that changed the community in a way. So once again, I feel like Kendrick helped change the community, but the outlook of the community. So on the state of hip hop right now, you feel like what you feel right now is the fact that Kendrick Lamar album was what was well needed for hip hop. I understand what right now about when it came down to some of the songs. I wasn't really speaking. I, I agree. Thing is a good album personally, but I'm just saying I'm speaking for everybody else. That the critics and people that I knew, they say they didn't. Like the album, but me personally, I feel like hip hop probably needed it a little bit. Cause think about it, the violence that's going around right now. I mean, and, and everything. I say the community probably needed more than hip hop actually needed. Like hip hop needed a thought out album, like it was, but like the message in it was more for the community. Well, I know the fact that. For the community, because it's like he made a song called I, and the song basically was talking about I love myself, you know? It's like nowadays, what? Suicide rates more improved. I went up higher. Well, I don't really have the, the stat sheets in front of me, but I just know this year I recently lost somebody due to a suicide before that I was cool with. So when I feel like the song, 
like I love myself really needed to come out like the perfect timing, but I felt like it should have had more more attention. Like you know how Pharrell made that song happy. I felt like it should have had more impact on that on I love myself. I, I, I see what you said. I agree. I just think the reason why it it it, it didn't is because of because of the demographic they both they both reach. Kendrick reaches a different demographic than Pharrell, and I feel like that only allowed for uh, for certain people to hear Kendrick's song compared to Pharrell's song. So that's why I feel like they didn't get the. That's why I feel like Kendrick didn't get the same amount of attention as Pharrell. I agree, and which he should have. Well, I feel like he should have, but also like this song, like he this song really like he really spoke about a lot of different things in this song. I mean, this album. A pimp, to pimp a butterfly, like who would name it after that anyway? But still, a pimp a butterfly, and then like he made a, another song, you know, I forgot the name of it, but it's like, you know, it's coming out. You ain't got a lot to kick it, my, you know. It's like it's like basically he's just telling everybody just to be they self. I feel like right now in hip hop, a lot of people, like I said in the previous episode, a lot of people faking it to make it and mimicking everybody else's style, and I feel like Kendrick Lamar on this album. Prove the fact that he not faking nobody. He just being himself. And he said, you know, you know, making songs saying you don't got a lot of kicking with me. He made a song called Black of the Berry for like the dark skinned brothers like myself who was blessed to be extra chocolate. That special dark chocolate on Hershey. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to go off the topic like that. But I feel like he made that song for everybody, like in, especially in the African American uh, culture, to not feel, you know, bad about being. You know, being dark skinned because a lot of people. When you look at TV now, you see a lot of black people. Now you see they reach out for more the the light skinned brothers. They don't you don't see a lot of Morris Chestnuts is running around here like that or nothing. Or Tay Diggs like y'all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get what you're saying, bro. Yeah. Look, I, I'm a I'm a I'm gonna tell you like on my on my stand to um, Kendrick Lamar and to Pimper Broke. To pimp a butterfly, generally, the album itself was uh was basically made to be a poem from uh himself to Tupac, because he said himself he saw Tupac in a dream come to him and say don't what was it don't don't let my music die yeah, don't was let that my music die. so so I feel like I feel like uh Kendrick just took the social approach that Tupac once used and. How we talked about the platform on the last episode, well, I feel like Kendrick just decided to use his platform in the same way Tupac was did. But you know what's hella funny? It's like, talking about Tupac, this go off subject right now. You know, he uh, he had, on his album, he had like a footage, not really footage, but a song, uh, a song by the something, like a su- Tupac thing that wasn't, you know. An interview. No? Yeah. Interview or anything? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, so I felt like, you know, I, I feel like he really went out. On this album, but to other people who I spoke to, they felt like he was trying to be something that he really isn't. But I feel, I feel like hip hop probably did need that album, The Pimper Butterfly. I just don't really agree with the name. I still don't agree with the name, but I feel like the name probably has a deeper, you didn't, a deeper. Uh, you didn't listen to the to the to the end of it, like the um, the interview with Tupac. The, nah, I didn't listen to the end of it because at the end, at that at that time I was so busy doing something. Else. I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't paying attention to it probably, but I, that would be something I will do. Well, yeah, in that he 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 explained what to pimp a butterfly means. Well, to get off subject right now, no, we talking about Kendrick Lamar album review, and we talking about how about hip hop in the state on less rap. So let's rap, sure. You're you're a rapper. How do you feel about this album? Like you feel like when it comes down to you making your next project, would you try to be more like Kendrick? Or I understand you're gonna be yourself, but would you try to try to put more more of uh, you know, his aspects that he that he put out there on uh, your new work? No, just because I mean I'm not Kendrick. I d I don't have like the same outskirts or or the same Thoughts or thought process or anything that he has, I, I, I can only do what I, you know, was happening in my life and my experiences. Bro, and for you, uh, Fred, I understand you are uh, you a DJ. Mm-hmm. So do you like 
would you would you see yourself I understand it's by popular demand but would you see yourself suggesting or putting more of new music out like Kendrick Lamar opposing to more mainstream rappers like Migos Future that's basically not talking about nothing and really destroying the hip hop culture in my opinion that I think I I personally feel like uh, a a good balance is always is always uh, needed because for example like you you can't really take I right, so Kendrick let's just, since we're on Kendrick you I like you you can't play Kendrick in a club like you Kendrick's just said new album. yeah you can't play Kendrick's new album in a club but to not even talk about like the club and whatnot to just say for hip hop itself I feel like a variety is always needed or a good balance is always needed so if we have ten conscious rappers that all talk about basically you know how they feel about the social um the social demographic or whatever's going on they all can't express different things if especially if they all come from the same areas like right now we have a lot of rappers from Atlanta and California making it big so if we have a bunch of social rappers that come from those same areas we're going to end up getting a lot of the same rap but that's the way it is in Atlanta really right now with the with like you know that that turn up music i guess we could call it so i generally just think that if you just have a good variety of both it's an even way throughout hip hop and rap like you don't have to worry about one side more than the other if you just have a solid balance okay well i i i agree because you really cannot go to a club and listen to no Kendrick Lamar. um i pay my butterfly you know but that's enough that's a, that's all the time we have on let's rap um we'll wrap up with you later on the next uh episode which we'll be talking about currency's new new album which is in what pilot talk three Yes, Polytalk 3. Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll be speaking about that in the next episode, but stay tuned.